I didn't want to just sit on the sideline and kind of wait for other people to do it and want to do something beyond just writing a check to feel good about, uh, you know, support some environmental cause. We really want to do something really different than that, which is really get in the game and make some real changes uh, that we could really affect on our own. Well, we've done a lot of work both in St. Louis City and the county both, and uh, probably over the years equal amounts, uh, depending on, on um, what drives the customers in the market. And we do both commercial and residential, and we've also done a lot of work with nonprofits. Uh, specifically, we do solar electric work, what's called vol photovoltaic work, right? So. Uh, solar panels typically on roofs or on ground mounts that produce solar energy. I think uh, IKEA has done this since on almost all their stores as I understand it, so I think they probably had a partner they worked with before we were able to connect with here and make it work. Um, and even though that we weren't directly involved in it, it's another one of those things that really matters for the region, right? Because many customers now will walk into an IKEA store they know has solar power on the roof and they'll say, solar works for St. Louis and it works for a company like IKEA, it's a very smart company that uh, really gets it and sees a big picture sustainability, but also a big picture return on their investment, right? And so again, that sort of clarity of why IKEA would do it speaks to everybody else that says, I think solar would work for me as well too, whether it be my house or my business, right? And so leaders like IKEA and others really moving this forward and saying this is the right thing environmentally and economically, it changes the whole discussion. The question of if is not really there anymore. It's just a question of when do we fully deploy this on a much larger scale not only IKEA, but you also see others that aren't in the past necessarily considered that eco-aware conscious, but Walmart is one of the biggest employers of solar, nationally speaking. And uh, others like Walgreens and others are doing this. And so, um, you know, it is becoming this mainstream where uh, companies now are not just sort of doing it just as a feel good, but they are saying this is the right way to lead and change and other people will follow. And now we often talk to people that call in and say, you know, I saw solar on the church that I drive by each day, or a friend has it and they told me that it makes sense now. So we're really seeing this much more of a mainstream development and not just in the starting stages of, hmm, I wonder if it works. I think there's much less question, does it work? Now it's how does it work for me specifically for my own house or my own business? What I think is really this wonderful evolution of all this is uh, the awareness that my kids have, for example, now, right? That um, we have solar in the house, we have electric vehicle, I drive a Volt. And I don't think they would imagine a world going forward that wouldn't include solar in everything that they do. Um, that's just for them now is the way they would perceive the energy. Anything else beyond that seems really uh, taking something that's less than it should be. And that becomes now their uh, mainstream way of thinking that they will take that and advocate for that the rest of their lives. And what's great too is kind of connect with that is the young people that start to work for us in the company, right? Uh, we've got a lot of smart young engineering talent and project managers and that sort of thing. What they find compelling, I think, is this tribal concept of coming to work for something they, they believe in. They want to change that. And they see a world where there's, this is evolving, not to just accept the old status quo, but they really want to change for something else to happen now. And this is a great way to do that. And, and I, that, again, becomes the reason that I start to show up each day. It's not because of the old reasons, which are still there for why we started, but it's because of the people that I get to work with on a daily basis that really want to move the needle to something better. I think uh, this network and web uh, kind of connectivity of all the people that believe in sustainability for all their various reasons coming together makes a lot of sense, right? I, um, one of my roles was uh, mostly a president, so the State Industry Association. I was president for four years, and in that mix, I, you know, very connected with other organizations, whether it be Sierra Club or more local groups or whatever that is. And I think the stronger we all get and that connect web together, the better off we'll all be. And we're starting to see this merging of these ideas that don't isolate us, but really connect and bring us together. Mm -hmm.